Hey, what is up, fellow critics? Darnell back at it again with another review and reaction for you guys. So today we're gonna be doing the Umbrella Academy season two, episode six. Uh, last episode we had the family finally met up together um, to try to figure out what the hell's going on and see what their father has to do with it. And uh, Luther kind of backed out a little bit. He really didn't want to have anything to do with it. But then they got an invite to a supper, a light supper from their father and hopefully it's from him i'm not 100 sure if it's from him but it could be from him vanya's having troubles with sissy she kind of confessed her love for her and told her to run away with her and she was like uh she kind of pumped the brakes a little bit it's like hey you know you know kind of like you know maybe we'll see what happens or you know we're kind of going a little too fast type thing uh, so you know how those situations work. So we found out that Luther actually met the, his father Reginald and it didn't go quite so well He tried to explain what happened Reginald Want nothing to do with it. He was like yeah get out of my face I have no idea what you're talking about one of the commission guys got taken out by the handler and she kind of made it seem like it was Diego who did it Oh, uh, it was very vicious too um, So we got to see what's gonna happen there and then also the handler and uh, number five actually met up and they're going to be talking some things over. So it's going to be very interesting what's going to happen this episode. But before we start it up, guys, make sure you please like, share and subscribe to Cinema Critics. Let's go ahead and start this episode up. Girl. Hey, girl. You're in the wrong part of town. Hey, girl. We're talking to you. Oh, damn. Better run, girl. Oh, you boys must gun. be lost. I suggest you find. She a got a hot cold. They specialize in you. You don't mess with them hot coals, man. <laughs> Burn your neck up like crazy. Hey, Mom. Go. <laughs> He's like, nah, man. I'm about to do my thing. Let me. <laughs> What's your name? Oh wow, she talking, huh? I look like it still hurts her. So that's why we're not talking as much. I am so going to enjoy killing you someday. Lila, darling, would you give us a minute, please? <laughs> yes, the grown ups need to talk. <laughs> She's pissed. The commission would sound more like Jack. What about the board of directors? Well, that's where you come in. Nope. <laughs> no, it isn't. <laughs> Willing to get you and your family out of this timeline and back to 2019 where you belong. Oh, that sounds interesting. Then I was towing the company line, but once I'm in charge, <laughs> we can riff. Charge. <laughs> no, that's not too bad. Not too bad. I need some time to think about it. Fine. <laughs> but remember, Doomsday's right around the corner, and the way things are going, I'm your only option. Not yet, you aren't. Oh, that means Pops. So that's pretty cool. Um, she wants to take out the board of directors so she can do things her own way, and then she'll bring them back to 2019 without an apocalypse. So... Maybe we'll see. I don't know if you can trust her. From now on, it's Team Zero. Team Zero. <laughs> team Zero. All the way. <laughs> nice. Dang, don't leave him hanging. I can't lead you anywhere. I'm not a guru. I'm not a messiah. I'm I, I'm a fraud. Admit our own fraudulence. <laughs> Only then can we experience true. Oh no, oh, no, backfired. No, no. I'm a fraud. I'm a fraud. I'm a fraud. <laughs> well, that'd work. <laughs> he tried. <laughs> so there was a black president? We've been through this. Like black, black. <laughs> black, black. Pardon? Prove it. Okay, it is not just some parlor trick. There is a cost. Okay, so Wonder Woman's got powers, but nobody can see them. How convenient. Mm. I told you, she's she, she going to have to prove it. Color folks can't try on the merchandise. 
But if you'd like to make a purchase... I heard a rumor that you let him try on anything in the store. Ooh, buddy. <laughs> we about to go shopping. <laughs> looking good, looking good. You believe her now. Definitely believe her now. Get your black ass out of here Ooh. before I call the police. I heard a rumor that you shut your damn mouth. Ooh. Oh, he'll never. Oh. More. <laughs> ah! Hi, Allison. Mm -hmm. Allison. More. Damn. Hi. Oh, fingers. More. You're hurting him, Allison. More. That's why she doesn't use those powers. <laughs> I would kill for an assignment like that. In any coup, you need a scapegoat, all right? Oh, a scapegoat. Makes sense. Falling for your mark. It's so cliche. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. You'd kill him if I asked you to. You hesitate. No, I didn't. Oh, yes, she did. She likes Diego. Diego, <laughs> you shit <laughs> <laughs> Bingo! 16 years in the grave and you finally turned into your father. Ah! Oh no. Oh! 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 What the hell just happened? Wow, that was crazy. I wonder if... if I wonder if Ben can go inside Klaus and like just take over his body. But you don't have to. Yes, I do. No, you don't. I've already enlisted. What? That's not supposed to happen yet. My uncle took me down to the recruitment office. Oh, he made him go earlier. Oh, oh no. Oh, unharm my wiener. Unharm my wiener. She is setting everybody up. <laughs> Hi everyone. <laughs> Look at Luther, he's so nervous. <laughs> Luther. <laughs> Oh, wow, he really showed up. Very surprised. I adopt six. Seven. One of us isn't here. Dead. One of us is dead. Dead, yes, uh, but I'm here. Klaus, yeah, but, tell them I'm here. But, 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 enough of that now. Why you won't tell them? Zero for two, young man. Oh. <laughs> Except she never uses it. I heard a rumor. You punched yourself in the face. <laughs> I can handle it. Handle it? Handle it? Handle it? You uh, definitely blew up. Well, Yeah, Vardy is still, still rough around the edges. Desperately clinging to his own ineffectual reason. More succinctly, a man in over his head. Damn. You were wrong. Damn. Damn, Diego. Screw it. Oh. Yo, he jumped into him. I'm out with it, boy. Wow, nice, Ben. Look at what you did to me. Look at it. <laughs> this is this has got so bad. Yeah. Maybe your appetite is disproportionate to the size of your ability. Oh. Start small. Ah, oh, makes sense. Seconds, not decades. Makes sense. 
That's kind of crazy. I mean, it could it could work though, man. You gotta hone your powers if you're gonna try going time traveling. Start small, and then you know, then you'd be able to work your way. Oh damn! <laughs> Reminds me of old boy. I just need you to trust me. Is she gonna do it? I do. <laughs> oh wow, she's going with it. Lord help me, I do. <laughs> okay. So Vani's just gonna bounce? Who's watching? Oh boy. Not good. Not good. Not good at all. Holy crap. Oh, man. That's bad. Oof. Wow. Ogre for... I have no idea what that means, but... It's probably something serious. I'm in. Wow, well, he's actually gonna do it. 1982. All right, so that was the episode. Pretty good episode. We had uh, Allison. She finally told her husband about her powers and, ex you know, showed him, and they had a good time. And then we kind of understand why she don't really use her powers as much, because you know it's a little crazy so then pretty much all the family members they got in their invites to go see pop they go see their dad and obviously it didn't go as well as they thought it would like he pretty much for the most part believed them but he was really hard on them especially diego and luther uh then you know it just you know he's a very stern man and he definitely hurt their feelings especially he made diego cry i mean come on so Reginald and number five were talking and he's trying to get his advice like what am I supposed to do? What do you know about time trouble? How can we stop this? You know, Reginald tell him like, hey, you know, sometimes stuff happens, you know, it's, you can't really mess with time and all this stuff. And then he was like, you know, maybe you just try, you know, working to it. You, you started off crazy, you know, learn how to do it. Go back seconds at first so you can learn it and then you just work your way. And you know, number five was like, hey, I don't have that that time so he was like yo if i if you don't you know you don't have a good reason you know if you can't help then i might have to go make this deal with the handler so vanya and sissy meet up after the meeting and they you know have a good talk and comes to find out sissy is like hey, you know what let's do it let's run away together very surprised that she's going to do this but what happened her husband was sitting there watching them so Oh, this is gonna be crazy. I have a feeling that he's going to do something and Banya is gonna end up us using her powers and it's not gonna be good. Somebody's gonna die. Um, so it's gonna be crazy. I have a feeling that's what's going to happen. And then at the end, we see number five and the handler meeting up and he decides to like, hey, take her deal to assassinate the commissioner top guys and that she will give them back until uh, 2019. My man Elliot, he's dead by the Swedish guys and they took him out and put some message on the floor. It's probably directed to Diego. So they're 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 coming for him. So that's gonna be a serious thing. And, but here's the crazy thing. The handler sent them, you know, she sent them to Diego. So she is double crossing them. So she's probably gonna try to take them out and then use number five as a fall guy when all the you know stuff hits the fan so it's kind of crazy hopefully uh it works out in their favor so guys let me know what you thought of the episode did you like it did you didn't please let me know in the comments below thank you for watching guys make sure you please like share and subscribe to cinema critics we'll catch you on the next episode peace out <laughs>